Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paul Venus, and if you're new, please subscribe. And if you're returning, hey, it's really nice to see you back here. So I thought I would buy this new Danessa Myricks product, and it is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. And I thought it would be really interesting to find out how this performs on dry to combo skin, i.e. mines, because I have this really issue, shall we say, of covering my pores and getting that seamless makeup look. I will show you right now how bad my pores are. Here you go. So, if you want to see how this looks on my skin, I'm just going to do a little bit of a demo. Thank you for watching. Just get this open. So I got the shade Universal because I honestly don't know what shade, what other shade I would, that would be applicable to me. Because I've never bought anything from Den Denessa Myricks at all. Oh wow, this looks really nice and it's got a little spoon on it. Bronze. Okay, so let's just have a look on the website and see what this professes to do. Now I'll be reading directly from her website. What it is, a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration, which is good for me because I have oily and dry skin. What it does, this groundbreaking balm powder formula is powered by Swedish super ingredient Upsalite. We'll get onto what Upsalite is in just a wee while. Its cutting edge technology balances sebum and reduces oil throughout the day for a natural clean glow. Upsalite balances and absorbs excess sebum and sweat while maintaining skin's hydration. Olive derived squalene, known to balance oil production and diminish visible signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid promotes skin's hydration. So let's just have a look at what Upsalite is. Okay, so it's in Upsalite. It's a patented material from Sweden with a with an extraordinary high surface area and exceptional absorption capacity of both oil and water soluble substances. Cosmetic grade Upsalite is specifically created for use as an ingredient in cosmetic formulations such as colour cosmetics. So that says to me that it kind of absorbs water and oil. So shall we just do a little bit of a demo and see how this performs? Yeah? Good. I love this. It's really cute. Get it open. Oh, that's nice. Look how glossy that is. Oh, that's got an interesting smell to it. Oh, I don't, I can't quite define what that is. Once I define what it is, I'll put it in a pinned comment below. Oh, that's nice. It's very fresh. So... Let's see how you use it according to Danessa Myrick's website. So it has one, two, three, four, five uses, and I'll just read out what those are. To prime using a universal or tinted shade, tap and blend with fingers to prime eyelids or complexion. And I'll just be doing that bit, but it also highlights and contours, it sets foundation as a sheer coverage. And yeah, it, it says that it, yeah, it gives you that little extra bit of coverage. I kind of don't want to destroy how perfect it is in this little pot. So this little pot, which is 18 grams or 0.63 ounces, this is the singular most expensive makeup item I've ever bought because it's £35. So I really hope that it, that it works. Let's take a little bit on the spoon or spatula. Now you've just seen what my pores are like before, so let's see what they look like after. Put a little bit there, 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 and there. And it's just a rub with your fingers. It feels moist, but then it turns into like this Like a moist powder, almost. So as I said, I do have quite... My skin is more on the side of dry than combo. 
but it does get oily in certain areas depending on the weather, how I feel, what I've ate, what I've not ate, how hydrated I am. Let's just bring you in a little bit closer. Oh. Yeah, ignore the spots. So I'm just gently rubbing it in and pressing at the same time as well. Now, the nose, this is my most problematic area. I think it smells of cinnamon. It's like a sort of a very slightly menthol cinnamon. Press that into the pores that are the size of the Grand Canyon. It's a really pres present, pleasant smell. Kind of reminds me of Christmas. Okay, so you can see in this area it's still quite shiny where I did put on because all I have on my face is a little bit of mo light moisturizer. And then if you look in this area, it's slightly matte. It's not shiny. Then it goes to matte. Just get a little bit more of that product. And where you can see that shiny area, let's just see if it mats it out. Just press that in. So slightly less shine. Now let's just bring you in even more closer to see if the pores appear reduced. Are you ready? Brace yourself. What do you think? I think they do appear a little bit more reduced. They're not as pronounced as you've seen in the previous close-up. Let's just push you back a little bit. I think that's enough close-ups. Let's just try some on the upper cheeks. It seems that a little bit goes a very long way and I'm very glad of that given the price of this thing, this product. Actually, I think my skin, it looks does it look like it looks like it's got a little bit of a filter? Don't you think? What? Is it just my imagination? Or is this sorcery that we're talking about? Pardon? I, I literally... Like, I have... Visibly less pores. Can you see it? I'm gonna bring you in again, sorry. I, this is magic. See? Come on, focus. Like, that is a lot less visible appearance of pores, isn't it? What is going on? Can you imagine how good makeup is going to look on top of this if it stays on? By the way, this video is not sponsored or anything. I bought all this with my own money, so it's not like I'm PR this or anything. This is my own unbiased opinion and... Okay, so now you have to subscribe and wait and see, wait and see what makeup's gonna look like on top of this, but... I've 
I really pray to the makeup gods that this is going to make my makeup look flawless because as I said I have tried almost every, yeah, every single primer that there is out there. I've tried ones with silicones, without silicones, water based ones, oil based ones, uh, serum based ones and none of them work. Anytime I put them on and then make up on top uh, they just slides off or it kills on my face despite all of my efforts with my skincare so yeah you're gonna have to subscribe to see what makeup looks like on top of this but yeah i think i might have found my i think i might have found my holy grail I, i'm struggling a bit for words here because yeah so subscribe and my next video will be me putting makeup on top of this so Thank you for watching. Let me know below if you have this and what your opinions of it are. Uh, I would highly recommend this if, like me, you have a strawberry nose, by which I mean your pores look like strawberry pips. Uh, or if you're someone that has maybe pop marks or scars or something on your face, uh, this potentially could help you to get that really nice, soft focus, flawless makeup look. Uh, yeah, I am quite shook by this. So, yeah, subscribe, comment below what you thought of this video, uh, like the video because that really helps me out and makes me be seen. Uh, yeah, and share this video with one of your friends if you feel it will benefit them. Uh, thank you for spending some of your time with me here. I really do appreciate you. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, be kind to yourself and others, and I'll see you next time. Bye.